Top Ongoing Mega Projects in New Zealand This is New Zealand, a country with a rich history and stunning natural beauty. But it's also a country that's constantly evolving. In recent years, there have been a number of ambitious mega projects underway that are transforming the landscape. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the top ongoing mega projects in New Zealand. Starting with Number 13 Auckland Light Rail The Auckland Light Rail project is a $2.4 billion project that will see a light rail system built in Auckland. The system will connect the city's CBD with the North Shore and the airport. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs and reduce traffic congestion in Auckland. Number 12 City Rail Link the City Rail Link will be a 3.4 km subterranean railway that connects Auckland's two main train terminals, Britomart and Atia. Auckland Transport, the city's transportation agency, is in charge of the project. The connection is scheduled to be completed in 2024. The City Rail Link will significantly improve Auckland's public transportation. The link will provide a more direct and speedier route between Britomart and Atia while also freeing up capacity on the current railway network. The connection is estimated to bring 100,000 extra passengers per day to the train network. Number 11. Auckland Skypath. The Auckland Skypath will be a 3.6-kilometer elevated walkway and cycleway connecting Auckland's CBD to the North Shore. Auckland Council, the city's local government entity, is in charge of the project. The Skypath is nearing completion. The Auckland Skypath will connect the CBD and the North Shore in a safe and comfortable manner. The Skypath will also aid in the reduction of traffic congestion on the Auckland Harbour Bridge. Number 10. Te Ara Te Pua, New Zealand Cycle Trail Te Ara Te Pua, New Zealand Bike Trail is a 3,000-kilometer network of bike routes that will connect New Zealand's major towns and cities. The New Zealand Cycle Trail Trust, a non-profit organization, is undertaking the project. The path is scheduled to be completed in 2025. Tiara Tupua will be a significant tourist attraction for New Zealand. The path will provide visitors a one-of-a-kind opportunity to discover the country's natural beauty and different civilizations. Number 9. Manawatu Gorge Highway Upgrade The Manawatu Gorge Highway Upgrade is a project that will improve the Manawatu Gorge Highway, which connects Wellington and Auckland. The New Zealand Transport Agency is in charge of the project. The renovation is scheduled to be completed in 2025. The Manawatu Gorge Roadway upgrade will increase roadway safety and dependability. The renovation will also lessen the likelihood of highway traffic congestion. Number 8. Taranga Eastern Link The Taranga Eastern Link is a new highway that will connect Taranga with the Eastern Bay of Plenty. The highway will be 24 kilometers long and will include four lanes of traffic. The project is expected to cost 1 billion New Zealand dollars and is scheduled to be completed in 2025. The Taranga Eastern Link is a major infrastructure project that will improve connectivity and safety in the Bay of Plenty region. The highway will help to reduce traffic congestion on the existing roads and will also provide a more direct route between Taranga and the Eastern Bay of Plenty. Number 7. New Zealand International Convention Centre the New Zealand International Conference Center is a brand new conference facility in Auckland that can accommodate large-scale events. The center will seat 10,000 people and have a variety of amenities such as a theater, exhibition halls, and conference rooms. The project is anticipated to cost 700 million New Zealand dollars and will be finished in 2024. The New Zealand International Convention Center is a significant economic development project in Auckland that will attract people and corporations. Each year, the center is estimated to produce more than 1 billion New Zealand dollars in economic activity. Number 6. New Zealand Defence Force Base Linton The planned Zealand Defence Force Base Linton will replace the present Linton military camp in the Waikato area. The site will house the New Zealand Army's major combat training centre, as well as a variety of other facilities such as barracks, a hospital, and training grounds. The project is projected to cost 1.2 billion New Zealand dollars and will be finished in 2025. The New Zealand Defence Force Base Linton is a large infrastructure project that will strengthen the New Zealand Defence Force's capacity. The base will assist to guarantee that the New Zealand Army can train successfully and respond to any security threats to New Zealand. Number 5. Te Papa Tongarua. Te Papa Tongarua is New Zealand's national museum. 
The museum is now undergoing a significant renovation that will include additional galleries, a research center, and a new entrance. The project is anticipated to cost $300 million and will be finished in 2025. The Tipapatangarwa reconstruction is a major cultural project that will enhance the museum's visiting experience. The new galleries will highlight New Zealand's natural and cultural history, while the new research center will serve as a hub for research and teaching. Number 4. Te Puya. Te Puya is Rotorua's Maori Cultural Center. The facility is undergoing a significant renovation that will include new ware, houses, a new morale, ceremonial ground, and a new tourist center. The project is projected to cost 100 million New Zealand dollars and will be finished in 2024. Te Puya renovation is a significant cultural project that will protect and improve Te Puya's distinct Maori cultural history. The new ware will include Maori traditional arts and crafts, while the new Moro will host Maori cultural activities. Number 3. West Haven Marina. The West Haven Marina expansion is a major project that will see the marina's capacity increase by 50%. The expansion will include new berths for yachts, boats, and other vessels, as well as new facilities for marina users. The project is expected to create hundreds of jobs and boost a local economy. Number 2. Water Care Auckland Transmission Main. The Water Care Auckland Transmission Main is a 48-kilometer, 30-mile, water main that will bring drinking water to Auckland from the Waikato River. Water Care Services, Auckland's water provider, is in charge of the project. The main is being built in two parts, with the first stage expected to be completed in 2023 and the second stage expected to be completed in 2025. The main will be an important element of Auckland's water infrastructure, supplying the city with a consistent supply of drinking water. The main will also assist to mitigate the danger of water shortages in Auckland, a booming metropolis with a fast-rising population. Number 1. Sky City Convention Center The Sky City Convention Center expansion is a $400 million project that will see the center's capacity increase by 50%. The expansion will include new exhibition space, meeting rooms, and a ballroom. The project is expected to create hundreds of jobs and attract more visitors to Auckland. So, those are just a few of the top ongoing mega-projects in New Zealand. As you can see, there's a lot of exciting development happening in this country. I'm sure we'll see even more amazing projects in the years to come. If you're interested in learning more about these projects, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks again for watching.